You can play chords, but do you really understand chords? How are the chords actually built? What is the theory behind them? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. My name is Simon and I'm a guitarist, music producer and graphic designer from Norway. I'm here to share everything I've learned so far in my journey and document what I learned in real time. We're going to start with basic major and minor chords, or triads, because these are the most basic chords. But everything I talk about in this video will apply to other chords as well. You probably know these normal basic beginner chords. Each of these chords actually consists of only three different notes. Let's have a look at the C major chord. The formula for creating a normal major chord is 1, 3, 5. And the simplest way to explain what 1, 3, 5 is, is with the major scale. So, we have the first note of the major scale. We skip the second, then we play the third. Skip the fourth and then play the fifth. So we end up with note number one, three, and five of the major scale. So that is your chord, one, three, five. And all we have to do now is to play all the notes at the same time. And since the first note, it's a C, that means it's a C major. Okay, so we can't really play all the notes at the same time here. So we can go back to our normal C shape. So listen to this. So that's the same notes. You can add as many notes as you want, as long as it's either the 1, 3, or 5. So let's take this chord for example. We have the 1, 3, 5. Then we get to 1 and 3 again. So the same notes, just <laughs> extra notes really. Just because it sounds nice. So you can play them if you want to, but you don't have to. <laughs> okay, so that was a major chord. Let's have a look at minor chords. Minor chords are almost the same, with only one difference, one small difference, and that is the third. So instead of playing a normal third, major third, we're going to lower the third to a minor third. So if you go back to the notes of the C major chord, <laughs> The third note is a major third. Move this down one fret, and we get a minor third. And that's the formula for a minor chord. So, one, flat three, or minor third, that's the same, and five. So, the third is the only difference. So, a major chord, minor chord. So now we can make our C major. Into a C minor by simply flatten the third. A little side note on this specific C chord. If you play the whole shape like this, you can't really play a full minor version of that because the top string is also a major third. And you can't really lower the top string. <laughs> if you want exercises and in general a better understanding of everything I'm talking about in this video and chords in general, 
then you should go to playwithaplan.com. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Okay, so now I want to show you some very important and useful chord shapes, because I don't really use these open chords a lot. Because you want some bar chords. So you can move them easily across the whole neck. So that's what we're going to look at now. Okay, so let's start with C major. We're going to start on the third fret of the A string. And this is the chord. So three, five, five, five. And if you want to, you can also play it like this, so with fingers instead of a bar. And you can also play the third fret of the high E string if you want to. Then you need to use your first finger as a bar, like this. I don't really play it like that a lot, because I think this sounds better. And I have quite big hands, so this is actually kind of clunky to play for me. Especially like up here and stuff. Anyway, this is the chord. And to get the minor version of that chord, you simply need to find the third. So let's do that. If you go back to our C major scale, you can find our third. So that's the third. Okay, and then I know that the fifth fret of the B string is the third. So I can simply move that down one fret. And then we get C minor. And for the minor chord, I actually often like to play the high E string. So it's going to be like this. The first finger has a bar. But if you think that's hard, you can also play it like this. So without the bar. So that's the chord you can play when the root note is on the fifth string. Next, let's have a look at when the root note is on the sixth string. We have this chord. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of that sound, so I like to play it like this instead. So I skip the A string and the high E string. Just like the sound better. <laughs> and the minor version of that, simply lower the third. And if you want to play the full chord of the minor chord, it's going to look like this. But yeah, I like to play it like this. These chords are crucial in guitar, since it's important that you get comfortable with them. So the major chord, a minor chord. So that's the basic theory behind chords and some important chord shapes you should know. If you enjoyed this video, you should check out the video on the screen next. Here we're going to check out some of my favorite chords, the sus2 and sus4. I just think I need to... Uh, oh, <laughs> got like a little bubble in the throat. <laughs> Bye.